Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, if you still don't believe it and you've watched my video on blessings and curses where I detailed historical evidence for America, go back and have a look at that video and see all the facts. Our country, South Africa, is proving the scripture by the day. Since our president has decided to divert attention from the corruption and crisis and chaos Yemeni's people have created in this country by focusing on Israel and Jerusalem, a stumbling block for all nations, and cursing Israel and standing against her and lodging a, a court case in the International Criminal Court against Israel and uh, working on getting the embassy the Israeli embassy in South Africa thrown out and standing against everything Israel and Jewish and supporting Palestine, Hamas and all those things. We are seeing now daily how this country, South Africa, once great, is crashing like an airplane on fire heading straight into the mouth of a volcano that's erupting. Daily things are falling apart at the seams. Daily they get worse. And that's besides the crippling load shedding with electricity that we're currently under between 6 and 12 hours a day currently and said to be getting worse. It's so bad that they lie about the level of load shedding we're on because we're actually much worse off than they say we are. And that from a power utility that way back in the day when we used to be friends with Israel was named one of the best in the world. Now, it can't keep the lights on, apparently. I say apparently because when the president needs to make a speech or have a party or him and his people need to do something or there's a rugby game, boom, no load shedding. Power works perfectly. The minute's not there and the minute they don't need to do anything because they are covered, bang, the country's straight down the drain. Then our ports are in chaos. We're not receiving shipments, so that drives prices up and chaos with receiving products. All of that is getting worse by the day. Infrastructure's collapsing. Here where I live and in various other places across the country now as well, no water and the water gets switched off all the time. There are people living in the town where I live that have not had water for the last few months. They drive to neighbors that might have a little bit of water and collect water to take home to brush their teeth and wash so that they can work and have a normal life. This is normal for us right now. And it gets worse and worse. Fuel prices go up. Food prices go up. Chaos reigns. Things fall apart. And why? What do I see as a common denominator here? Our country stands firmly against Israel. Unwrap that any way you like. Those of us that are living in this country that love and support and stand with Israel publicly as we should, knowing that they're family and pray for them. God takes care of us. God watches. God is with us. I have no doubt about that. We can survive all these things and the rapture is around the corner. But this is proof of the pudding of how this works. Stand against them curse them, work against them, and suddenly everything falls apart for you. Bless them, and you're blessed. It's biblical. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom.